Hi friends, you are most welcome to our channel technical concept. I am Arun Giri. So our today's topic is steam jet dot a boiler. So in previous video we have seen about the natural dot and artificial dot. In artificial dot we have seen force dot, induced dot and balance dot. Now we will see steam dot, steam jet dot a boiler. So how it works we will see now. So first of all we will uh, discuss the system. How the system is working. Okay. So this is the boiler, okay, and this is the steam nozzle, and this is the chimney, okay. So what happens when uh, sufficient pressure generated in this boiler? Then what happens? One line is connected with the steam line, and this uh, steam is spread in this section of the boiler with the steam nozzle, okay. So what happens when? steam spread in this uh, section so due to steam pressure this gas goes out uh, in the atmosphere through this stack okay and when this gas goes out uh, through the stock then what happens some negative pressure generated in this chamber so due to this negative pressure a fresh atmospheric air sucked inside this chamber okay so like this it is working and its a major advantage is that it does not require fan and blower or motor okay it simply works on the pressure of the steam nozzle and that steam is also coming from the this boiler okay and its major disadvantage is that when we are starting the boiler then boiler doesn't have any steam pressure so at the start we can't uh, produce draught with the help of this steam nozzle because in the starting there is a boiler doesn't have any steam pressure uh, when uh, boiler uh, generate sufficient steam pressure then only this steam uh, jet draw system work so this is its major drawback okay so this is all about the topic today's topic so i hope you like the video if you like the video then please press the like button and subscribe my channel and share this video so thanks for watching bye bye